Now you push it again, it's not going. Yo, what? Yo, how do you do that? <laughs> You're done, bro. No, dude, you it's it's permanent. You can charge for the rest of your life. <laughs> Yo! Yo, so I just realized that I never introed this video or like let you guys know what's going on. So basically Gymshark invited me to go to their LA event and they said they'd get my flight. So I was like, shit, I might as well go. It's kind of funny though, cause I wasn't really supposed to go to a lot of those events. They were more made just for like their main Gymshark athletes. And I kind of just tagged along with Sawyer. When I'd wear Young LA, they'd be like, what the fuck is this guy wearing? Maybe it wasn't that bad, but it was like low-key like that. <laughs> they were just joking around. It was funny. I don't know. It was definitely interesting going to those things and like their little athlete events. I don't know. It was cool. They were cool people. But yeah, that's why I was wearing Gymshark in that one clip is because everyone just kept cooking me for wearing Young LA. Don't worry. I'm not like switching sides or anything. I don't have any plans to do that. But yeah, that's just why I was there. Um, but yeah, now we're going to go to the gym. In the past. Bye.
Yo. So we just got back from the gym. We trained at Barbell Brigade, and then we had like the Gymshark event earlier. Well, I was there for a little bit. I wasn't there the whole day. The more I go to these like event things or things with like a shit ton of people, the more I realize like that kind of stuff isn't for me. I don't know. It's just like, I get like worn out really fast. I was kind of disappointed with how my deadlifts went at Barbell Brigade because I, I was looking forward to having like a really good session because I wasn't able to train the last two days after training pretty much every day for the previous month. I don't know if I showed it to you guys while I was there, but um, when I was deadlifting, I pinched my, I don't know if you guys can even, see I'm focused on this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but when I was putting a plate on, I pinched my thumb in between two plates and then it created like a blister, like it was bleeding under my calluses. So it already hurt. And then every time I would pull on hook grip, it would like explode open. So it was kind of gross. And then it also ended up making me have like a really shit deadlift session. I don't know. I was just really disappointed because I, I wanted to have a good deadlift session. Nabil, how was your session? Oh, man, I'm like looking at the footage right now. I'm addicted. Really? Yeah, it, I, good? it was great. Oh, yeah. How, what was your top set? I did 551 on squat. I did 303 on bench. And I did 770 on deadlift. So, and it's, according to plan like that's week to SBD so to be honest with the day we just had it's awesome. It awesome yeah exactly yeah. Be, being around these people makes me want to actually like do some yeah. real powerlifting stuff just like you know ma I'm making not, up I shit I really told you I'll write your plan this is right you know, this is you, milk. you should I'll do it this guy will do the oh. milk plan I'll do the programming <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get you strong be, that would be you have right. all yeah. the tools in one and yeah. a very strong baseline from the that's the, yep, from that's his baseline strength. 700 pound dead, uh, 375, 365 bench. And well, an especially strong and baseline for how strength. tall you are, for not how filled are you. Like, you have so much to do in terms of like every way of newbie gains, in terms of powerlifting specific programming, in terms of improving tech, in terms of filling out your frame, like the amount of tools you have in the bag to improve on top of an already genuinely impressive baseline for gener general strength is like disgusting. So whenever you want to, let me know. Because okay. a lot of you guys, you guys hit me up and like ask me for, for program shit like that. And it's like, my training is like so shit compared to what it could be. It's like, I don't know, it's partially an ego thing, I guess, because I just like to like do my thing. But my training could be like so much better if I, you know, had a, you know, tailored program, followed a program. I'm pretty good about food, but I don't know, things could be a lot better and I could get a lot stronger if I just like dialed these few things in. Are you excited for tomorrow, day two? Um, I don't really know what to do when I get to the events. Like, True. I kind of just like walk around and meet people. Yeah. It's like, I'm not an actual Gymshark athlete, so I'm not like part of their thing that they're doing. Uh, they just invited me to it, but then it's like, I don't know. Everybody knows you there anyway. Like, they are like, Nick! The, the reason to go is to meet people, but I'm not like, like to meet influencers and stuff, but I'm not there to do that. So I don't know, it gets kind of boring, but I don't know. It's cool when I meet people. I like that a lot. Yeah. But you, you're pretty much just waiting until you like, uh, have someone come up and talk to you. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of, it's, it's a lot of, weird. It's, it's a, a lot weird, of, it's, it's like a, a weird social <laughs> experiment yeah, thing. You're just standing there like a, like, you're, uh, like a booth, you're like your own booth. <laughs> yeah. You're just like a mobile booth. You're like, who's gonna come up? Like this guy's been eyeing me for 10 minutes. Like he knows who I am. Like come say hi, dude. Like that's the whole point. When, when I was in Houston, um, so I was there with my little brother and we were at the gym and they would come up and talk to him first. And then be like, how do you know Nick? <laughs> yeah, you're like, dude, like, what are you doing? He's like, you <laughs> guys, did I, I know, just Wait. say hi. That's why I, can't. I literally traveled here for you, like just say hi to me and make it worth it. Like, yeah, no. spend money. <laughs> it's it's very interesting. I don't. Know, I like I like meeting you guys and talking to you. It's a lot of fun, but it is definitely like a weird experience. Um, also, I'm like socially awkward, so. <laughs> <laughs> just overall, just overall, but it's good. It's just some exposure therapy for Nick. This is what he needs. This is exactly what he needs. All right. Um, but yeah, uh, they're gonna leave. I'm gonna probably head to bed, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Going for a loop. If you guys ever wonder how Sawyer gets uh, so strong and big, he's making a pop tart oatmeal, paradise frozen berry shake at 2 a.m. These are the keys. Uh, we were out of oats. And Isaac came up with a brilliant idea going, yo, just use your Pop-Tart. And I was like, yo, smart. <laughs>
He's like a, he's an OG Jamie Shark person. I don't know if you guys. The OG of OG. Yeah, he's like one of the first. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Basically, a, <laughs> like the last one standing, I think, from the from the, uh, the first days. So from the old days, I'm yeah. To, I'm, you know, I, I, got a, I got a little limp. I'm, you know, gray hairs. <laughs> you know, got kids now trying to keep up with these guys, but. He's going to teach us how to lift yeah. like, like old people. Yeah, I'm basically <laughs> the Mr. Miyagi to the karate kids. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna go to Gold's. Um, they don't really like you filming there, but I don't know. We'll see what we'll get. It's late at night. We should be good. So, a little push session. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Apparently, if you just say you're with Gymshark, they let you in for free last time. I Last time I was in LA, I spent like $200 on day passes. I don't know. But this time I haven't bought any, so it's a dope. Okay, since Yucky, Yucky's the Mr. Miyagi, he wants to start with dumbbell. He doesn't really do like barbell flat press. I haven't not started a push day with without bench, like barbell bench, and like, I don't know, since I started lifting, but that's what we're gonna do today. Um, I'll probably just talk to you guys once we're done lifting. Yeah, peace. That's a wrap. Honestly, I had a really fun workout. Like, I didn't really do much. It was like all over the place. Like, we did we did a bunch of chest movements. Then we did like back, arms. I don't know. It was really. I think most people just want to get a pump. Um, I did the hundreds for like I think eight. Um, back in Houston, I was actually doing the one tens on a higher incline. I did it for six, I think. But yeah, my incline's getting strong as well as like my flat bench. But yeah, so that's nice. 
Yo, Chris, how was your session? It was sick, man. Um, it was amazing meeting you, dude. Yeah, you know I mean, you, bro. You're, you're, you're a cool guy. And I appreciate all your insight on your visuals and your angles. <laughs> I try. Yeah, we were shooting some photos. He, he just does the iPhones. He doesn't know. He doesn't know about the G Master lens. Nah, I'm, I'm too old for that. I'm too old for that. You know, I'm, uh, I was, just the uh, Mr. Miyagi with the gray hairs, like I said earlier. So. But it was a good sesh. It yeah, sick. I had a lot of fun. It was cool. Um, it was nice not just like fucking spending two hours on bench and just like going through the workout instead yeah it was at least put some calories to work and yeah I, I we all ate a whole pizza each before imagine if we would have just ate all that sour strips pizza everything and then we just like laid in bed <laughs> <laughs> just rotted away for two days now but, we just pumped it all out so. i know yeah we finally got that shit out of us i've been eating like garbage i'm excited to get home and like get back to whole foods and like eating normal and stop feeling like shit. I know you do feel so good. Like you do miss that shit when you're just away eating like sour strips and pizza for three days straight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like one cup of water. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like, dude, I'm so parched right now. I know. I need water so bad. Dude, it's like hard to find water when you're out I know. Here. I know. I know, it's brutal. They have like the canned waters at the event, but that's, a, that's pretty much all I drank while I was here. I don't know, but yeah. Nice. World's blood. <laughs> finally back home low-key it feels really good to be home kind of it's like it's like a weird feeling i don't know i've never been gone from home for that long like i know it wasn't a long time like if you go to, like to college it's not even that long i was gone for maybe a month but for me and someone who's a very routine person it felt like a long time because i just like to have all my shit it wasn't too bad in houston but in la like it's so hard to like stick to routine and get all your food in get your water in because i'm staying at a hotel so i can't cook anything i also don't like buying food because that shit it adds up so fast like it's expensive and then i don't have access to a car you know it's uber for everything i don't know it just fucking sucked trying to eat get my water in there so yeah training was kind of shit there but we're back we're gonna be on routine and we're gonna try to deadlift 700 pounds at the young LA event in two weeks maybe I honestly have no idea if I'm gonna be able to get that, but I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna sleep every day, I'm gonna not miss a meal, I'm gonna train hard, and we'll see We'll see what happens. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully another video within like a week or so, and then it should be the LA video, and yeah, 
I'll see you guys then. Peace.